Hey Mallory, more than a hundred years ago, Harry Earl Ralph Otto made the ultimate sacrifice when fighting for his country in France. And today, members of the community of Danbury celebrated his legacy once more. He actually died on November 7th in 1918, and his body remained there until uh, October of 1921, which is a hundred years ago. And uh, at that time, his body came back to Danbury. Harry Otto's name lives on in the Danbury Mapleton area. When his body was buried at the then Hartle Bend Cemetery, more than 1,500 people attended the service, according to local newspapers. And directly after the funeral, the cemetery was renamed to honor Otto's sacrifice. Thanks in large part to the works of Harry's great nephew, Bob, a ceremony was held Saturday to pay tribute to their lost family member who gave his all protecting his country. Over the course of a century, parts of the Otto family have left the area, but many came home on this Thanksgiving weekend to be a part of this event. Her uh, children have left the area and moved on to other parts, and so us being close, we thought it was time to recognize uh, his sacrifice for our freedoms and democracy that we uh, have today. The tribute truly was a small Otto family reunion. As Harry's great great niece Molly sang the national anthem in America the Beautiful. While another great great niece Megan and her son Brandon of Danbury played taps. Members of Danbury's Carlson Frum Post 336 and Mapleton's Lauren Hollister Post 496 American Legions were also in attendance to give the military salute. It's very special to see his relatives come back here for Memorial Day and today, uh, as my wife had said earlier, it's hard to look around here and find someone that I'm not related to, you know, and uh, that, that's kind of a symbol. And a Danbury resident delivered a poem at the cemetery honoring Otto. The last sentence of the poem, Harry Earl Ralph Otto, his name, his initials spell hero, his fame. Dylan Adams, KCAU 9 News.